let's update this boring dresser with Dixie Belle paint products. After painting with blueberry, add a slight amount of driftwood to the center of the drawers. Blend this together using your spray misting bottle. Silk screen stencils can create a bold, detailed design on a variety of surfaces. Each set contains three adhesive stencils. Remove the stencil from the white backer sheet. Position the stencil on your project. Apply a thin layer of paint. Remove the silk screen and clean promptly after use with soap and water. After washing your stencil, allow it to dry sticky side up on a paper towel and put it back on the white backer sheet once dry. Check out all the sets Mandela, Mosaic, Patterns, Floral, Botanical, Nautical and Western Boho. On this stencil, I use Moonshine Metallics and Gold Digger. I used a foam applicator pad to apply my paint. I applied a Hocus Pocus transfer to the bottom two drawers of this piece. I cut them up and applied them where I wanted the design. Using a foam applicator, I applied the new gold gilding wax from Dixie Belle to the stencil. Using a foam applicator pad allows me to get a faded out design on the stencil. I painted my Would You Bend molding with metallics from Dixie Belle. Color used, Gold Digger by Moonshine Metallics. You can paint wood you bends before you apply them to your piece or after. I wanted to add some more detail to the top of this piece. I used the new silk screen stencil and applied it to each four corners. I measured out the space using my gold digger and a foam applicator pad. The stencils came out crisp and clear. the Would You Bend Moldings to my piece. Dixie Belle carries 50 exclusive designs from Would You Bend Moldings. You heat up the back of the molding and then apply it to your piece using wood glue. Once it's adhered to your piece, you heat it again to make sure that it's flat and adhered to the surface. You're ready for paint. These two pieces were painted in Moonshine Metallics Gold Digger before application. <music> 